infinity. Where the dying takes form. Greetings all, welcome to another Form Affinity video. Today we're looking at Maya Config Pro Annie 1.4. If you haven't already, be sure to check out our recent upload uh, about Maya Config Pro. This Pro Annie will contain all those updates as well, as per usual. So to get started, let's go over to our shelf and load the animation shelf. And I'm just gonna go ahead and activate timeline split area. So uh, the first new feature is just our S hotkey will key all. So if I select my object and hit S, it's going to key, keyframe uh, is placed in the timeline there. And so if I move, create a new position here, hit S, again I've got that uh, new set of keyframes placed there. So that's a really nice feature. Uh, it's also not just happening in the 3D viewport, but if I, you know, if my mouse cursor is over the outliner and I hit S, it creates a new keyframe. Or if I'm, let me go ahead and move this so we can see it. If I'm over, say, in the properties panel and I hit S, it creates a new keyframe there, right? So. That's nice to be able to, to do that while you're, especially while you're over the object properties. So next up, we have a new feature. Uh, if we go into our timeline, since we already have it open, I deleted a few of those keyframes. And if I hold shift, first we're gonna go ahead and drag select uh, keyframes that we wanna copy. And if I hold shift and middle mouse, I can copy those keyframes to a new position. So you'll see the object goes, you know, out and then back because it's copied these keyframes from from here to here. Uh, so that's really pretty cool. It's akin to what Maya does, except I believe Maya you also have to hit the S hotkey to actually set the, the keyframes. In here, all I have to do is hit shift middle mouse button, drag, and then drop wherever I want them. So you can see it's out, back, out. Some updates have been made to the graph editor as well, which I can select right here. So now we can left click and drag. This is uh, working once again in the graph editor. So that's really nice. We can also, let's say I want to create a, a keyframe set here. I can just hit S and it'll do that for me. I'll show you guys that again if I move here. And you can see the, the timeline co coinciding down there. I hit S, sets keyframes there. So that's a really nice feature. I can also, while in graph editor, select some keyframes and activate my move with the W or E for rotate or R for scale. So previously those were, I think it was like S for scale and whatnot. So now it's your typical Q, W, E, R keys for, for that, which is nice to have within the graph editor. So many thanks to YouTube user AndyCH56 for these suggestions for the animation. If you guys have any more ideas for Pro Annie, be sure to leave them in the comment below. Thank you so much for watching and supporting Form Affinity content, and we will see you guys next time. Take care.